Let's look at how our own streamliner deoiling hydrocyclone works as one of the key process steps in a produced water treatment system. The purpose of a deoiling hydrocyclone is to separate free oil from produced water prior to further treatment, discharge or injection. Produced water, pumped or under pressure from the primary separators, is fed into the hydrocyclone vessel. Even though the influent characteristics of the produced water can vary, the hydrocyclone must be capable of maintaining as consistent an outlet quality as possible. As we can see, the inlet has a sudden increase in oil content, perhaps caused by a slug of oil escaping the primary separator. However, the efficient design of the streamliner ensures that the oil is separated by the hydrocyclone and is discharged into the oil collection compartment prior to removal and further treatment. Note that the water quality at the outlet has not changed noticeably. The retention time of the produced water in the hydrocyclone vessel is in the range of only a few seconds, allowing for a compact design, a critical parameter on an offshore installation. Individual hydrocyclone elements called liners are employed in the pressure vessel, their quantity being determined by the volume requiring treatment and the specific characteristics of the produced water. The separation process is based on centrifugal forces and the difference between the specific gravity of oil and that of water and solids. Produced water is introduced under pressure into the hydrocyclone vessel and makes its way to the inlet ports positioned on the larger diameter end of each liner. The multiple inlet ports of the streamliner reduce turbulence and improve wear resistance. The difference in the pressure between the inlet port and the outlet port of the liner ensures the correct flow path. An axially positioned swirl inducer within the liner immediately creates a rotation in the fluid flow. The conical shape of the liner creates an increase in fluid rotation speed as the diameter narrows, resulting in high centrifugal forces and therefore separation of lighter oil and gas from heavier water and solids. The heavier water and solids move in a vortex towards the exit of the liner, whereas the lighter oil and gas will move in a secondary vortex along the axis of the liner in the opposite direction towards the vortex finder positioned in the center of the swirl inducer. The separated water is now sent for further treatment, discharged or injected. The concentrated produced water is either sent back to the primary separators to recover the oil or stored for disposal.